Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up who love their tech. And I am proud to say that I've done something that I didn't think that I was going to do to my GPD Win 2. What did I do? I upgraded the SSD. As much as I said that I wasn't going to do it because I have a Samsung um, portable SSD drive um, and it's one terabyte which holds a whole bunch of stuff um, I didn't like that I had to attach it to the GPD and win to and keep it on there because let's say someone bumped into it or something like that um, the SSD drive could get damaged and I didn't want that and so that's why I decided for myself to get the, the best brand, the, the best name brand for um, an SSD 40 GPD one two, and that is the Transcend brand. Now at first um, I pre-ordered a uh, 512 gigabyte SSD, and I pre-ordered through um, B and H, which is a uh, tech company in New York City um, it's not actually a pre-order actually it was a, a back order um, and they expect more to be in their store within like seven to ten days business days and so I did um, place a back order for it but I was saying to myself do I actually need or do I really really need a 512 gigabyte SSD when I have a 400 gigabyte micro SD card already in the GPD Win 2. And um, of course the Samsung one terabyte portable SSD, you know, having that on the side. Um, I was just saying to myself, do I absolutely need the 512? And um, B&H, they're selling this for basically rounded up to $190 which is a fantastic deal and that's one of the reasons why I wanted it because it's cheaper than pretty much any other place that I found on um, online but um, I canceled it and ended up getting this 256 gigabyte SSD drive and I purchased this one uh, through Amazon so there it is, there it says 256 gigabytes. It is, like, like I said, the Transend, great brand. And why is it a great brand? It's because um, when I installed it in the GPD Win 2, it recognized it, just like the Fox said in his video. It recognized, and actually no, he did the King's back. He did the King's back. Actually, no, I got um, this information from a couple of sources on the internet. Um, a couple of people who commented commented in my um, SSD buying guide video and um, also got information from um, a seller on Amazon who tested the Transend 512 gigabyte SSD drive in a GPD-12. So I decided, like I said, to get the 256 gigabyte one and of course I told you in um, my previous video, the buying guy video, I did not necessarily want to install it because what you have had to do or have to do when you do purchase it is install a fresh new copy of Windows 10 onto the SSD. Plus you had to um, back up your drivers on your original on your GBD Win 2 and then reinstall them on this drive. So I didn't want to do all that, but um, I, like I said, didn't want my Samsung SSD to be protruding out from my GPD Win 2. So I just bit the bullet, got it. And basically, as I said in my buyer's guide video, I followed the foxes and yeah let me think of this so that you won't get any reflection the foxes video on how to upgrade the SSD like I said in this video 
he was very familiar with this because the screen is a portrait screen. It's meant for like a phone. He's displayed. Oh, you heard that? He said this screen is a portrait screen meant for a phone. Which means that when you do um, follow the instructions um, from his video, um, and when you get to the in installation screen and uh, the, uh, how, how can I put it? How can I call it? Uh, putting in the time and everything like that, finding the Wi Fi, um, it will be in portrait mode. And so, what you have to do, because uh, when it does boot up, it will still be in portrait mode. So, what you have to do, because I did get a little scared. I thought that um, after following the instructions and installing the drivers, uh, the backup drivers, and doing everything he said, it was still in portrait mode. And so I was like, what the heck is going on? I don't know what to do. So basically you have to go into, let's see, you gotta go to your windows. Oh, I forgot to mention too. Oh, I forgot to mention too. One thing before I tell you how to rotate your screen from portrait to landscape, get yourself a USB mouse. Thank me later. Get yourself a USB mouse and then after you install the fresh windows on the uh, new SSD drive that you have, and it's going to be in portrait mode, none of your drivers are going to work because all the drivers um, are backed up and they have to be reinstalled. And since they don't work, you can't use Bluetooth, you can't use the touchscreen, you can't use anything until you put your drivers back onto your GPD Win 2. And so, in order to navigate on the GPD Win, and it's gonna be in portrait mode. You can put this in the mouse mode, but you gotta hold it like this. You gotta hold it in portrait mode. And then if you hold it like in this mode here, you're when you're pressing up, it's not gonna be up, it's gonna be left. And then this is gonna be up, of course. And so you it's kind of confusing to try to navigate while you're in portrait mode. And so I implore you, I'm telling you, this is going to save you. You will thank me later. Get yourself a cheap USB mouse from Best Buy or something like that. I got this from Best Buy. It cost me eight dollars, and you know, you just keep it when you need it, and you can navigate a whole lot better when you gotta go through the menus and stuff um, with your new fresh copies of Windows 10. And then after you get it to the screen here. Actually, no, you're going to go to uh, the Windows icon, lower left. You want to go to Settings. Then you want to go to System Display. And when you get here, it's going to say Portrait Mode. After, you you know, when you first turn this, when it first turns back on and everything, uh, put it in Landscape. And when you put it on last, Landscape, it'll flip right in order. So it'll no longer be in Portrait, it'll be in landscape mode as you see here and then when you uh, shut it off and then turn it back on it'll still be in landscape so yeah don't worry don't fret don't get scared I was scared for a minute like I said because I wasn't sure even though the Fox you know had really great instructions on how to uh, replace the SSD you still get a little wary because you don't want to mess up this very expensive mini laptop in your hand so I did it and here's proof. Let me show you proof. So here is the 128 SSD drive that comes with that, that is already installed in the GPD Win 2. Um can't really see that. Well, I, let me see if I can try that. There we go. Let's see, does it say 128 SSD M2? Oh, there it is, 128G. Right there, there's your proof. And it's a SanDisk. I didn't know that. Cool SanDisk. SanDisk is cheap. So that is, this is the one that is already installed in the GPD Win 2. I replaced this one again with the Trans N one. Let's get this bigger and focused so that you can see that I have it installed. Let's go to my computer where this is PC and right here in the local drive 
it says right here I have a total of 237 gigabytes available and well available total and only have 40.4 gigabytes left free on the drive this is the trans and drive like I said it's a it is 100% supported on the GPD Win 2 so I would suggest for yourself if you don't have the 400 gigabyte micro SD card get the 512 gigabyte SSD drive you will not go wrong with that the read and write speeds are astronomically fast so definitely get the 512 if you can um, again it's 190 rounded up plus tax on B and H. So look up B and H and type in Trans N 512 gigabyte SSD drive. You'll find a site. Um, get it on back order and hope and pray that you get it. You know as quickly as you possibly can, because they will sell out. They will sell out fast. Trust me. So like I said, there's a drive, and the reason why I only have 40 gigabytes uh, left is because I installed PC games onto the drive so I will be testing these out so that you can see how fast they load and everything I can't wait to test them out so be on the lookout for my videos I'm gonna make some starting tomorrow so definitely check out the videos if you like this uh, video I've made and telling you that the Transend SSD drives absolutely work and it took me hours to put everything back on but it was worth the time that I spent putting it on. I'm, I went to bed at two o'clock in the morning, um, this early morning. So I'm sleepy right now. So I'm gonna um, go to bed soon after playing me a couple games and see how it works. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. And um, if you have any questions, definitely leave questions or comments in the comment section. Um, I will uh, leave a link of the SSD uh, drive that I purchased from Amazon and I got it you know because I am a prime member so I got it within two days started was good to go so I'll leave all that in the comment section as well and um, if you like like I said the video leave your thumbs up um, tell your friends about my video uh, my channel subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video